All right, we're going to give you a walk around on this 1973 Suzuki GT750, uh, two-stroke triple. Bike is mostly original, 7100, just under 7100 original miles. The one thing that I know that has been replaced is the exhaust, at least the outer pipes, uh, because I'll show you here in a second. If you, I don't even know if this will show up in the video, but on the pipe, it has some description about not modifying it, but it also says that it is to conform to 1983, pre-83 model year, and it's designed for the GT550. So, my thinking is those were not made in 73, but they are the factory uh, replacements. Okay, the bike has been painted. Uh, I think it was a very good job, certainly not perfect, and certainly not factory. All right. I like to point out the flaws. Almost all of these you're going to see the flaking on the emblems. Not really an issue with the side cover emblems, but on this particular bike, the tank. So that's something that can be painted back in. Uh, that's what most people do, or just let them flake. Uh, you can buy reproductions. You might look out and find some NOSs. Uh, only real corrosion on the bike is right here when you look at uh, where the pipes go into the engine. And these are, for some reason, they did a rough chrome job on these. Just about every single one of these bikes I've seen has corrosion on the collars here. So all of those collars have some corrosion. Not a ton you can do about that unless you take them off and buff them. All right, front fender. Excellent condition, except somebody dropped something on the front of it, dinged it, they tried to straighten it, and it's got some scratches in it. It's presentable, but definitely not mint. Tires, excellent condition. As you can see, there's still some nubbies on the front. The gators are in good condition. Original horn, original light. Still in good condition. Turn signals. Gauges. Original bars. Talks about revving the engine up. You can see there's some wear there from keys hitting it over the years. Controls are in good shape for the year. Grips are original. As are the bar ends. There's your choke lever. Mirrors are original. Tank locks. Very clean inside. Tiny bit of surface rust when you get that one actually because of the fuel we use nowadays when I don't have it absolutely full, which it's not absolutely full right now, but uh, it is not rusty inside. It's never been sealed, and the bike does great. Minor, minor surface corrosion on some of the fasteners. You're just going to see that on these bikes. And I think on this grip you can actually see the little Suzuki logo still on there. Ram air. As most of you guys know, all that means is ram cooling air. It helps cool that center cylinder better than the old Kawasaki's. Um, the only real difference between this bike and a 72, which is the first year, is that good old disc brake. Which, yes, it does squeal. It works well, but it does squeal. And I just flushed the master cylinder and redid it. It's nice and firm. Okay, as I mentioned, the exhaust, I believe, is replacement. Has a couple little dings. Uh, thank you. I had a fellow eBayer let me know that the exhaust was not installed properly. I didn't do that. I remounted the exhaust, and what was happening was the shifter uh, made it hard to get your toe under the shifter on this side, and when you brought the kickstart down, it actually would hit the pipe here a little bit and put a little, little ding in the pipe. It doesn't affect performance. It has baffles inside. Uh, I have not cleaned the baffles. wouldn't hurt to clean the baffles, but it performs well, just like it is. Another one of the original stickers back here. Uh, seat in awesome condition. Logo still strong. No tears, no rips. A little bit of bunching up underneath if you look really, really closely. Another 
another original sticker here for you. Recently replaced the battery with a gel battery. It's a little bit taller than the factory, so I moved the battery pad to the top just to make sure it doesn't short out against the seat. Um, it does have a battery tender. I will include that with it. Just a little wall wart one. It's 500 milliamp. Um, as I mentioned, there's only two things that don't work on this bike. Number one, the electric starter, and number two, right now it's not charging for some reason. So I'll leave that to the new owner. Um, it will run for several days uh, on the battery uh, with small in-town trips, which is pretty much what I do. And as I mentioned, both tires are new. The back one I just put on, you can still, still see it still has some nubs. Um, brand new uh, rim strip and tube, balanced. Chrome is in great shape on the wheels, not perfect, but very, very good. Again, this is an excellent rider. Not a show bike, but you could make it one if you really wanted to, because it's definitely all there. So the bike has not been started in over a week. I did charge the battery though. And I'm hoping we're going to get a start out of it here. Usually starts in the first or second kick. Now I just choked it. cleanly.
we go.